thanks for coming back to our over busy you can to kitchen today i'm just going to whip up a bolognese and i'm going to leave it in the slow cooker but obviously i'll show you everything i'm going to do to get it to that stage first i've got my pan on my ever faithful fry light good few squirts just make sure your pan's covered your, your onions and that don't need to be swimming in oil um I mean, I follow Slim and World, but it is just basically a healthy eating plan. It's not a diet as such. So in my bowl here, I've got uh, about half a dozen onions. I've got a chunk of ginger and about half a dozen cloves of garlic. I'm just going to pop those in. And I'm just going to brown those up a little bit and soften them down. As always, make sure that your garlic and ginger don't go too much to the bottom of the pan because they'll stick and burn and you don't want that. So make sure they're well dispersed. I'm also going to add my celery in at this stage because celery takes a bit more cooking than the other ingredients. I know I use a lot of celery in cooking, but you, you won't taste the celery as celery. It just gives it another depth of flavour. And at the end of the day, I like as much flavour as I can get in my cooking. So my onions and celery have cooked down a bit, they've softened up a little bit and they're starting to go a little bit brown. To that I'm going to add, I've got about half a dozen coarsely grated carrots here, for about four to six, depends how much you like, but obviously the more red you can get into this, the more it bulks it out, the lower calorie it's going to be, and obviously more veg is good for you. She says throwing it all over the cooker. And just mix that right in. It'll stick together at first, but just keep stirring, keep mixing. And then to that, I'm going to add my mushrooms. And I've got, we like a lot of mushrooms, so I've got about a 650 gram punnet of mushrooms here. But if you don't like as many mushrooms, then don't put as many in. Um, this is another great one for getting veg into kids. My, my son, when he was younger, wouldn't eat mushrooms. He adores them now, but he just would not eat them. He didn't like the texture of them and everything. So I just used to grate them in. Um, I've grated courgettes into here. I've grated, you know, butternut squash and things in. You can even chop up um, broccoli and things fine and put in whatever you fancy. And again, I'm gonna just leave that cook down for a couple of minutes, let the mushrooms reduce down a bit, let the carrots cook in a little bit. I have got my slow cooker on already. I've got it on high heat, um, and I'm gonna put this in the slow cooker. As I've said before, I do like starting things in here, in my pan, because I just think you get a nicer taste, a nicer texture, and it just sort of, you know, boosts it a bit. So we'll leave that cook down for a couple of minutes and we'll come back when we're ready to add some more ingredients. So those vegetables have cooked down a bit now. As you can see, they're all nice and soft and that's absolutely what I want. I'm going to tip those. I know it looks like a lot of veg, but I'm actually using a kilo of mince, so it's not going to be that much. You will get a good proportion of veg to meat. To my veg, I'm gonna add a good tablespoon of Italian seasoning. As always, I use lots of herbs because I just think it gives it so much flavour. And I've put it in with the veg because I want it in the slow cooker. I don't want to lose it in the pan. Spray my pan with fry light again. And then with my mince. Now, usual trick with the wooden fork, just separate it off quickly. I've got 500 grams of 5% fat minced beef and 500 grams of 5% fat minced pork. The reason, well, there's a couple of reasons I use a mixture of pork and beef. Firstly, because we're not extremely well off and the pork mince is about half the price of the beef mince. But secondly, I think it gives it a bit more depth of flavour. I think the beef mince can sometimes be a bit flat on its own, where if you add the pork mince, it, I just find it's more tasty. 
it's just it just gives it more flavor that's my opinion i mean if you prefer just to use beef mince then you know that's your choice i'm just going to leave that with the lid on for a couple of minutes just to cook through right so my mince is nicely browned now i'm gonna just pop that in the slow cooker can you see there are no lumps in there there's nothing worse than getting big lumps of meat in your bolognese you think you're chewing away nicely on a good mixture of ingredients and you get a big mouthful of mince and it's sort of really not very pleasant the reason i do this in a slow cooker is because mince is usually not the best of the quality and the long slow cooking tenderizes it and brings out the flavors Mix my mince into my vegetables, give it a good mix in, and now I've got my mince in there. I'm going to add another tablespoon, again a big heaped one, of my Italian seasoning. I say I know it seems like a lot, but it actually isn't that much, and it will just give it a really nice flavour. To that, my favourite chopped tomatoes. I'm just putting four cans straight in and stir those into the mix. This is a great one if you have the time, the energy, and the inclination to do it in the morning before you go to work, school, wherever you're heading off. Um, if you haven't, just do it at the weekend. This is a bulk quantity again. Again, this is going to make about 20 portions. So do it at the weekend. Freeze it down in individual portions or family size portions, whatever you want. And then it takes seven minutes in the microwave. Stir it another seven minutes and you, your sauce is ready. You've just got to cook your pasta or whatever you're having with it. Spaghetti, pasta, you know, up to you. Right, so to that little lot, I'm going to add... probably going to be about a tube of tomato puree because you want a good tomato flavour and as much as I love my chopped tomatoes they're not terribly strongly flavoured. Stir that in. Right I'm going to add half a dozen stock cubes straight into it. Don't dilute them because you don't want a watery sauce. You don't want it all runny and sloppy. With the carrots and the onions and everything you have in there Although it's going to be a thinnish sauce, there should be enough to hold it. By the time you've mixed your pasta in and mixed it all together, it should be really nice. There shouldn't be any sort of wateriness at the bottom of your bowl. And as I say, cooking it overnight or for six, you know, for five or six hours in the slow cooker is going to give you some lovely depth of flavour. So that's half a dozen beef stock cubes on in. And it's also the beef stock cubes will help to thicken it up a bit. Most of the stock cubes seem to work. The combination of that and the tomato puree and everything, you can see it's going lovely and rich now. And I'm also going to add a couple of tablespoons of Worcester sauce. It's up to you if you add this or not add this. If you like it, don't like it. I like it and again it just gives another layer of flavour. So there's two tablespoons of Worcester sauce gone in there and it also helps to make it look a bit darker and gives it a sheen and all the rest of it. Okay guys so that's ready for the lid to go on and I've got that on full power and I'm going to leave that to cook down for about four to six hours. The great thing about bolognese is you can use it for so many things. Um, sometime tomorrow I shall make a lasagna um, you can do a slim and well friendly lasagna you can do a not so slim and well friendly lasagna um, you can use it to make a shepherd's pie you can use it for just a bolognese sauce as it is um, you can stuff things with it you could stuff courgettes or peppers uh, it, it, the list is endless so we're going to leave that for, as I say, about four to six hours. I'll check it in about four to six hours' time and um, we'll show you how we're doing then. Okay. 
So our bolognese has had about four hours on full heat in the slow cooker and as you can see it's absolutely beautiful now. The mince is lovely and tender, everything's cooked in nicely. We're not actually going to be eating this today, I've just made this as a batch for the freezer and to show you how I make my bolognese. As I say, this is just my version, everybody will have a different version, but there's lots of flavour packed in here. So I'm going to turn my slow cooker off now and just leave that cool. Right, so that's about it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope it will get you cooking really soon because you can too. Please, please, please like the video for us, subscribe to our channel and touch the little bell icon for notifications when we post more videos. Thank you for watching today and we hope you join us really soon in the You Can Too Kitchen.